Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm back with another Lush review. And this review is on the Volcano Foot Mask. Now this foot mask has been a part of Lush's all year round product range for quite a few years now. And I'm finally working my way through some more of the all year round products at Lush for review. So this was one that was on my list. So let's get into some of the ingredients and I'll talk about how I use the product, how I felt about the product, all those sorts of things. So this has kaolin pumice powder, lime flower and cleaver deconcoction. It's got fresh tomato, fresh papaya, potatoes, glycerine, bentone gel, menthol crystals, lemon oil, cinnamon leaf oil, and some other bits and pieces. So I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. So that's where I've used it. And to be honest with you, I thought I would need a lot more product to use this foot mask, but I didn't. I, I actually think the value for money is quite good with this product. So this is how I did it anyway, because I don't like stuffing around with things outside of the bath like this, like masks and stuff like that. Much prefer to do those sorts of things in the bathroom. Now, I do have a little clip of myself using this product. I will probably put it near the end of the video just because I can't remember exactly what I said on it. Um, but it, it's, um, it's just showing you the demo and how I felt about the product. But I do remember sort of when I reviewed it, um, yeah, about the product, if that makes sense. Like, I don't remember exactly what I said because I did actually demo this a few weeks ago. But I do remember what having the foot mask on was like. Hope I'm making sense. Um, so anyway, how I did it was... I got in the bath, I made sure my bath wasn't too full with water and I put my feet up on the um, edge of the bath on the other side um, and just slathered this on and just let it sit. Uh, it does say 15 to 20 minutes, I think, or 10 to 15 minutes. So, yeah, I think I did closer to 15 to 20 minutes, I think. Um, and, yeah, it didn't really hurt to do it any longer, I don't think. Um what I will say is the menthol crystals in this are quite strong. Also, the cinnamon leaf oil in this is quite strong as well. Um, it's definitely very tingly. So if you don't like that menthol -y, minty feeling or any sort of spiciness like that very heavy cinnamon, if you don't like that, you're not going to like this product. But if you're someone who enjoys those sorts of smells, I think you'll really like it. It does have similarities uh, in scent comparing scents uh, with Wiki Magic Muscles, the massage bar, because that also has the cinnamon leaf, but I believe it has spearmint or peppermint instead of the menthol crystals in that product. So similar sort of scent. If that's something that you enjoy, you would enjoy this. It's not my, uh, it's not my favorite scent, but I think it works and is appropriate for a product like this. So it's fine in my books. So one thing with this foot mask as well, it does have that ground pumice in it, and pumice is known as that sort of product that helps grind down um, calluses and things on feet um, and you know those store uh, those stones you buy in um, drug stores or pharmacies and that sort of thing that's basically what is in this mask that's been ground down for you um yeah and look I it didn't do any magical wonders on my feet my feet are fairly good I don't have like a lot of calluses on my feet or any huge sort of calluses or bunions or anything like that I don't have any huge feet issues like that um, but I don't think it would be appropriate for, for that sort of thing I think you definitely need the pumice stone on its own and get into it or one of those electric ones that has the stone on it and you press it and it does its thing but I think this is more of a sort of a fun therapeutic way to take care of your feet if you're someone who likes to take care of your feet this is probably a good product for you if you're just someone who likes to keep the maintenance of your feet up um, but doesn't have any serious condition like problems or conditions with your feet yeah that's what I would say now because I'm a little bit crazy I did patch test some of this actually just sort of in this sort of area um, on my face just for fun um, and I will say that it is probably a little bit too strong, once again, with the menthol crystals and the cinnamon for your face, because my face went very menthol-y and it, like it was all right. It, it wasn't over the, over the top to the point where it was burning or anything like that. But if you've got sensitive skin, I'd stay away from putting it anywhere near your face. But that's me in a nutshell. If you're new to my channel, I do weird and wacky things like that just because um, I can try it and 
I can review it and just do what I like. So I don't recommend you do it at home. I don't recommend using it for that. But I, I tried it out and you know what? That little bit of pumice actually wasn't too harsh on my skin, funnily enough. I didn't feel like it was, but you know, I'm sure what someone in the comments is going to say, don't put that anywhere near your face again. <laughs> um, yeah, I look, it, it's definitely not my preference for putting this near my face. I, I don't think I would do it again, honestly. I just It just wasn't the right sort of thing. But it does have similarities between Mask of Magnum Inti and this, there are similarities with the scent and the feeling on the face, that sort of tingling feeling. Uh, but yeah, this is a little bit more of a hardcore scrubby mask, whereas the Mask of Magnum Inti has the a ground aduki beans and they're a little bit less. So overall, my thoughts on the product. Look, it, it, it's one of those products, it's either take it or leave it. You're either going to be the market for this product or you're not. Um, I think it's a four out of five product. I don't mind it. I'm just not a feet person in general or someone who takes lots of time for my feet so it's not the ideal product for me but I will keep this in my collection and I will use this sporadically you know when I feel like my feet need a lift or something like that um, I'll just keep it around and just when I need it I'll just give it a go or when I have an extra sort of 10-15 minutes in the bath I'll just put it on again and just relax and let it do its thing so yeah so like I said, don't recommend it for any sort of um, over-the-top maintenance of your feet, but just general maintenance, that's probably what it's going to be best for, just that little bit of pumice, just to get rid of some of those dead skin cells after you've done the mask, just washing it off and that sort of thing. And yeah, that's pretty much all it is about. So thank you very much for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate all the support I get on this channel. Please stay tuned for more Lush reviews like this. And until next time, Take care, and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye for now. So here are my feet. Sorry, I'm not sitting up, so my voice might sound a little bit far away, and my feet might look a bit far away too. But as you can see, you don't really need a lot of the mask. It's feeling really nice right now. It's quite tingly. They're feeling quite refreshed, so it'll be interesting to see what happens when it rubs off. But you'll know that. Uh, for watching the video already. So thanks for watching.